Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of maxima and minima. And in this question, what we have been told that we need to prove that altitude of the right circular cone of maximum volume that I can inscribe inside a sphere is 4R by 3. Right? So we need to prove that this height of this right circular cone is 4R by 3 where R is radius of sphere. Right? That is asked to us. Further, it is also asking us to prove that the maximum volume of cone I can have in terms of maximum, sorry, maximum volume of cone I can have in terms of volume of sphere, right? So let's understand this question. Now, how to do this? So first of all, if I have a sphere with me, let's say this is my sphere and in Described with a maximum volume of cone I can put here. Let's say this is the maximum volume of cone I can inscribe in this entire sphere where R is the radius of the right circular cone and H is the height of the right circular cone. Also, we have been told that radius of sphere is smaller. So if I have, let's say this is the center of the sphere. So this becomes smaller. Also, if you see this is nothing but the same radius of the sphere, this is also smaller. So this part becomes H minus R because this entire height is H out of which this much is the radius. So this becomes H minus R. Now if I see here, right angle triangle is present. So if I see the smaller triangle, this is 90 degree, this is H minus R. This is small r and this is capital R that is radius of the right. So if I apply Pythagoras theorem here, what I get is r square is equal to capital R square plus h minus r square. So this becomes capital R square plus h square minus 2hr plus r square. And this is also equal to r square. So if I take r square, r square, both can be cancelled, it becomes zero. So you have capital R square in terms of h and r as 2hr minus h. Now why I am writing it in terms of capital R square because I need the relation between h and small r that is radius of the sphere. So I will have to eliminate this capital R square that is radius of the cone. Right? We also know that volume of the cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. So now if I want to eliminate this capital R square because we need the relation between capital H that is altitude and the radius of sphere. I can replace or substitute this R square as 1 by 3 into pi into 2HR minus H square into H. So that makes it 1 by 3 pi 2H square R minus H cube. Right. So this is my volume now in terms of capital H altitude and small r radius of the sphere. So now if I use the concepts of maxima and minima, so if I'll differentiate this entire volume with respect to height, if I write that volume here 1 by 3 pi and further it was 2 h square r minus h cube. So if I differentiate this volume with respect to the height h, what I get? 1 by 3 pi. 2r is a constant value. Differentiation of h square is 2h. Differentiation of 3, sorry, h cube is 3h square. Right? Now, what we do in the concept of minima and maxima is first derivative, whichever we found, find out, we equate that with 0. So if I equate this with 0, get the critical point of h. What I get? 1 by 3 pi 4 hr minus 3 h square is equal to 0. So what I get? 4 hr minus 3 h square is equal to 0. Or I can write 4 hr is equal to 3 h square. H cancels. What do you get? H here you get as 4 r by 3. So this is your 
critical point that is height of the altitude height or the altitude of the right circular pole that's equal to 4 r by 3 but we don't know whether we get a maximum value or minimum value at this point so what we'll do is we'll again differentiate r this expression with respect to h to get a double derivative of the volume so if i take the differentiation here 1 by 3 pi 4 r is already there and derivative of h is 1 minus here if you see what you get d h square so if i substitute here derivative would be 6 h so now if i substitute d square v by d h square here as h is equal to 4 by 4 r by 3 what i get 1 by 3 pi 4 r minus 6 h so 1 by 3 pi 4 r minus 6 h is 4 r by 3 again 3 1s are 3 2s are so that gives me 1 by 3 into minus 4 r so minus 4 r by 3 is lesser and whenever we get our double derivative lesser than 0 that tells us that we will obtain a maxima there so we get a maximum value at h is equal to 4 by 3 right so our maximum volume of the pole is obtained that can be inscribed in the sphere and that is obtained at the altitude that's equal to 4 r by 3 whereas r is the radius of the sphere right i hope you have understood how to solve this part of the question now let's try to find out maximum volume of the pole in terms of volume of sphere let's find out how much times the maximum volume of cone is in terms of the sphere so volume of the cone we already knew that it is 1 by 3 pi r square h where i replaced r square with 2 h r minus h square right so that gives me 2 h r minus h square into now we already know that maximum volume of cone is required and when we have to find maximum volume of cone it is obtained when h is equal to 4 r by 3. So if I put h as 4 r by 3, what I get? 1 by 3 pi 2 into 4 r by 3 into r minus this becomes 4 r by 3 the whole square into h that is again 4 r by 3. So if I use this idea, what I get? 1 by 3 pi. This becomes 2 into 4, 8. 8 r square by 3. This becomes 16 r square by 9 into 4 r. So 1 by 3 pi. This becomes if I multiply or make the denominator same, I need to multiply both sides by 3. So this becomes 24 r square minus 16 r square, that is 8 r square by 9, 4 r. So further, if I see this becomes 8 r cube into 4 upon this becomes 3 into 27 and a pi is by 2. So what I can get here it as maximum volume of the cone I get here that is equal to 4 into 8 into pi r cube upon denominator becomes 27 into 3. So if I want to write it in terms of volume of the sphere we know volume of sphere is how much? Volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube Right. So I'll take out 4 by 3 pi r cube common from the entire list. What I can write it as then 4 by 3 pi r and cube. If I take it out, what I am left with is 8 by 27. Right. So that is the whole idea which was asked to us that maximum volume of cone I can have in the question asked that can be 8 by 27 times the volume of
in which the cone can be inscribed. Right. So the answer for the question asked becomes eight by twenty-seven. Right. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where you need to apply the concepts of maxima and minima to find the maximum volumes for the figure that can be inscribed in any other figure. Right. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe if you are finding this very helpful. Thank you. Thank you.